it's Teresa, the smoking hot cigar chick. I'm here at Zycar headquarters in Kansas City with Kurt Van Keppel of Zycar. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Um, thank you so much for having me. I've, this has been such an incredible experience. And one thing that I've really been wanting to know is, you have these great lighters, so many different options. What do I need to know as a consumer? What's the difference between these different styles of flames? What are the benefits to each one for my cigar? Well, I'll tell you. There's uh, obviously everything from matches all the way to the big torches that you see in the cigar stores on the on the tables. So why don't I walk you through the different models and um, explain sort of how each one gets used and then make some suggestions about which which one uh, one of the listeners may want to use. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. Beautiful. Good. Well, uh, here we have the traditional match, which everybody's familiar with. And the match gives a candle-type flame. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll hear me use that reference again here in just a moment. Uh, we go from a match to a single flame lighter. You see the one flame, that's a torch. And the torch is created by uh, pressure jets that express the air through the butane flame. Okay. What's the benefit we get out of a torch when you we're know, lighting our cigar? The, it just lights it faster. Okay. Uh, that's all. Now, uh, the smoker has to be careful because a torch can easily and quickly burn the wrapper on the uh, sidewall of the cigar. Mm -hmm. and, that, and you don't want to do that because that causes problems as you try to smoke it. And you'll have to correct that problem. I may demonstrate that here in a minute just okay. to show you. <laughs> so we've got a single flame in the torch. Then we go to a double flame torch. And what's the benefit from going from a single to a double? What it's, changes here? It's just a little faster, a little more flame. It's a little easier to light a larger ring gauge cigar when you have double the flame. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I think that, and as we go up, you'll see that we've even got a triple, which creates a blade of flame. I like that term. And when you have a cigar in a 60 gauge, you can see the benefit of having three blades, three blade, or one blade of three flames right across. So it's kind of just out the makes eight. it faster. You you take it up and down in almost three passes. I'll show you in a minute. Uh -huh. You've got your cigar lit. Then we go to the butane based candle flame lighters, just like a match. Mm -hmm. And you've got my personal favorite is the Zycar EX lighter, which has a quantum style flame in the bowl with a candle above it. And that candle flame is created by dumping butane, just like a, just like a big style lighter, over the top of the quantum. And that creates the um, candle flame there. I like that candle flame too. It's my favorite. Flame, well, it, personally. It, it's a personal preference. So. And, and why is it that you like it better? I just, I guess it feels like, for me, the torch can be such a high heat that I feel I have to be more cautious with it. To me, it's just, I like the way it evens out on the cigar. Exactly. It's a nice, subtle, controllable heat. And in fact, that's that's exactly why I like it better. Okay. It's For me, it's a little easier, it's a little softer, yes. and frankly, it's it's more elegant. And, and for me, that's part of the enjoyment of the smoke, is the elegance of the uh, occasion and the elegance of the experience. So, one other nice aspect of this particular lighter, as we dump the butane over the coil flame, it creates a windproof flame, which you see there. And that's a lighter that you can easily use on the golf course, on the beach, etc. We go to a trade event every year on the beach, and all the guys in the trade are borrowing my lighter because <laughs> a torch is wind resistant, not windproof. This one's windproof. And that's a big issue, especially if you're smoking outside on the patio or a bar outside. That's right. That one little gust of wind that's can right. be a frustrating thing. <laughs> Anywhere near the beach, and you need a windproof. Exactly. <laughs> then we've got a line of three different pipe lighters, and these are pipe lighters because they're all soft flame and they're all angled towards the pipe in some way. The pipe smoker pulls the um, flame into the bowl and that's why it's angled towards the bowl itself. I have to say I actually like that style for my cigar. And it's a, it, again, a candle flame is yeah. an awesome cigar, um, awesome flame for a cigar. Um, this particular one is not windproof, which is the only reason why it's more oriented towards the pipe smoker. Sure, I love that so, flint mechanism, though. It's nice, very mm -hmm. elegant. That's a good feel to it, too. It's part of that experience. Our next pipe lighter is called the Resource, and it's a uh, piezo style ignition. And it's called the Resource because we <laughs> give pipe tools right in the body of the lighter. Beautiful. And then finally, we have the Scribe because it looks like a pen, but it's not. I didn't know about this one. Pull the pen apart, you engage the butane, so flick the flint, and you got, again, the angled flame towards the bowl of the pipe. And then to stop it, you just close the 
No, that's be great for travel right. too. That's like so. I'll, I'll demonstrate again. Mm -hmm. And then to stop it, just close. Fits right in your pocket like a pen. Love it. So, there you have the three different style lighters. Triple torches go all the way up to tabletop models mm -hmm. with three blades and in a very high rate and a huge tank of gas. That's such a beautiful thing. It's a great thing for your house or. Great show off these two. It's, it's a nice piece, isn't it? I like that. So now that we know about the different types of flames and how they affect our different sizes of cigars, what's the best way to light a cigar? Okay, well that's also personal preference. Um, since torches are so popular today, why don't I demonstrate a torch first? Now there's a tradition in cigar lighting that's called toasting the end. It's not necessary, but it does create a nice even burn from the very beginning. And the way a cigar get, end gets toasted is just by applying the flame directly to the end of the cigar, trying to put it evenly across the tip or the foot of the cigar. And you can see as I'm doing that, that it's beginning to toast or create coals off of that end. And it helps to blow on it a bit. Famously in La Floridita, the bar in Havana where... Ernest Hemingway used to have his daiquiris. They will light your cigar by, for you by toasting it, as I just did. And you notice that I only puffed it after it was lit. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. They actually do it with a match, which is a, it's a very elegant process I've seen to that, watch. The long, the three. Right, right. So, that's the first way. And um, you can toast anywhere from a uh, single to a triple, but it's fastest and easiest with a torch. So, you can see here on a 60 gauge, we can toast this in the same manner. That just coats it perfectly. Yeah, and you want to use the lighter against your cigar. You want to use the flame a good distance away from the cigar because the heat is hottest at the end. So, oh, we didn't cut that one, no, did we? Didn't. Well, we'll have to cut that in a minute. I actually used to have a friend who would do that. He would light a cigar first and then cut it afterwards. Really? Why is that? I don't know. Something about the way the uh, heat drew in the cigar would make a smoother first smoke in That's it. That's interesting. So it's something that... Well, I'll tell you what. Why, while we have the opportunity, I'm going to cut that with our 64 gauge uh, X8 cutter and demonstrate another way to light a cigar. And it's this is the way you'll see much more frequently and that's by drawing on the cigar as you're lighting. Mm -hmm. Again, you want to have the flame below the cigar and not apply the visible flame directly to the cigar because you're much more likely to burn your wrapper in doing so. So about a half an inch below the cigar is the perfect height and you'll see the cigar will just explode in flame. Now, I like to turn the cigar slightly as I'm doing it because that guarantees an even light all right. across. There yeah, you go. And I see with the torch, because of that high heat, you can go so much further. It's like you're drawing, you can see the color. Even That's the right. Heat. Now, a candle flame, whether it's one of the soft resource lighters or the um, EX2, the windproof, is exactly the same, but it's just with a candle flame. And I like to hold the cigar, again, a half an inch to an inch above the um, flame itself and you'll see that when you do that you get a faster light than you do if you're applying the cigar right into the flame. Mm -hmm. You apply the cigar right into the flame and you tend to get the burn of the wrapper that Which nobody wants. damages the wrapper. Doesn't take much. So there you have the three different types of uh, styles of lighting a cigar. Can I light a cigar for you? Please, I All right. I would love one. All right. Well, let's. We have a a mild, a medium, and a full body in the HC series for you. I'm gonna start the morning off with a mild cigar. Okay, great. Shall I toast it for you? Please, thank All you. Right.
And I like how you keep that flame away just enough to where it gets that heat evenly. Right, and kind of turn it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice glowing ember. That's what I like too, the way that you get to take your time. I mean, it really makes you savor the cigar and kind of appreciate the way everything, the way it lights there up and the aroma. It. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Absolutely. Okay.